what you can do is uh, find when you're in your test page is you'll see the ILP 2.0 on the right hand side so you can go into my course groups and once that loads up all of your students will be registered like so now my screen at the moment is completely wide because I've actually put the things that I don't need on the left hand side into my docs my dock area if I wanted to undock them I could click here so undock all and um, so now I'll concentrate on your ELPs if you want to look at what exactly is in your ELP information you have to click view if you clicked on the student information you won't be able to get into the ELP so you can't click on their name it has to be um, view now at the moment what you can see is a collapsed version of um, the progression sort of area so you've got student pictures here if you want to get rid of student pictures because they've not uploaded their images like that you can hide that column you can actually sort your student information according to name and surname so you can actually press, press that and the, the learner's information will change and according to their surname or first name. Now what I'm going to do is look at status. Here it says not set. This ILP has been completed and the status has been set as red meaning the student's attendance is definitely below 85% and the punctuality might be quite poor. With orange or amber it means that the student's uh, are still not perfect in terms of attendance but it's better than the student that's here for example so you can actually expand the columns so the ones just for the purpose of this demonstration it says student information Sam Mogford 3 has completed his information but the other two students haven't so you can actually have a look at that um, you've got another column which is uncollapsed which is a progress review you've got targets and basically most of them are self-explanatory what I do want to highlight your attention to is when it was last updated so for example the student at the top their data was updated on the 14th of November so that's today however some students haven't been visited for quite a while this one particular student um, has got one celebration or concern so there's a, there's different columns that you can explore there so if you've got a functional skills class with the group you can actually go in and complete a functional skills profile for that learner so I'm just going to go in and show you an example of a learner so let's have a look at this learner so Sam Mog for three let's have a look at what was written in the previous review there so there's no image there at the moment but hopefully the student can actually add their own image here you'd normally have an attendance column that says um, attendance and there'll be a percentage and there'll be a bar and it'll be uh, according to color rating so it'll be red amber or green now this student's attendance rating uh, status was set as red so there's a reason for that so that would be because attendance was, was poor but if you wanted to change that you click on the pen icon here and using the drop down menu you can assign them a, ra a, a rating so the rag rating there is basically according to attendance and punctuality but the silver and gold is according to progress so if they're achieving um, their targets or they're exceeding their targets you can give them silver or gold depending on what you feel is suitable for the learner so at the moment student information you can click into here and edit this so the student would actually go in and look at that you've also got targets progress reviews celebrations and concerns so it's not just positive uh, sorry not just negative you've got positive aspects there as well so you can go ahead and write that functional skills progress and achievement tracker and here you can see that there's add new and here there's edits you can actually go into each bit of information and edit that so let's have a look at student information so we'll go into there now here it says what program is a student studying so you can put down here um, Uh, diploma. Here you can write down, uh, also actually, including I don't know, functional skills, maths. Then you've got other qualifications that you might want the student to make you aware of, so you know where they are. So they might be studying something else. So let's say they, they've got I don't know A level media studies as well that they're they're studying alongside this so this is just an example the student here can go in and write down what their long-term ambitions are so what is it that they want to do which sort of career area do they see themselves in so you could write down um, I would like to work in media and So you've 
got the basic information and you get the picture what are you good at so you get the student to be quite specific uh, everything at the moment doesn't suffice so get them to be as specific as possible and give give examples of what they think that they're good at and then something constructive of what they find difficult so something that they need help with get them to pick uh, their order, their learning style according to the questionnaire that they do at the beginning of the indu induction and if there's any issues they can put this information so it's actually quite similar to the normal um, learning plan that is normally done and then at the moment you just click submit so that will save your changes and you basically click continue no you don't click continue okay and you can go into the next section so when you're having a conversation with the learner just go into each section and make sure all the bits are completed so you can actually once you've completed all the sections you can actually just go back um, and go back into your ILP area and yeah, complete the ILP for the next student and hopefully that will save all the changes for you so did it update that yet yeah, student information the rating is still the same so the information about the students there you can actually go in and have a look at the next one so if you go scroll to the right hand side it will say that okay the data was also updated today and that's basically how you complete the ILPs for the learners thank you very much